Okay, my friends, Roger Spur, Mud Fossil University, and I've been, they're feeling the heat at Fermi Lab because I've been showing the muon that they really can't show. And I believe that I have the evidence that kind of really crushes what they're saying. Uh, so let's see it. I'll show it to you. They're asking, what can wobble muons? Tell us about this. This is just a few days ago. I've been posting over and over on their site and against them that they're not doing the right research. They think they found a muon. I don't think they have it all. I think they found an electron. I can show you the muon. All right, first of all, what's a muon? Well, that's what they call a muon. And what is Cheryankov radiation? Cheryankov radiation is when you have a high energy particle crashing into a different medium they use this cherry they call it cherry ink off radiation when they have heavy water and um, nuclear particles crashing into it to absorb those particles that, within the heavy water and they create these muons and electron showers and so forth they can see these in the nuclear i mean in the um, huge hadron collider when they smash things together billions literally billions of particles and then they dig through the debris and they can see these black balls and they can see these white showers but they never knew they were attached together i'll show you what they look like when they're in their attached form don't forget we're talking about light light is literally the smallest particle we know of except i will show you something smaller so this is a light wave this is the particle that has the black and white ball, which I just showed you before, a, white, a black ball and a white shower. That's the white shower. That's the black ball. They actually detach at the Venturi. And I will show you that. Can you see that particle? That is the photon. Half of that is an electron. Back to back, it's like two bar magnets. And when they come through the air at the speed of light, which is not not completely set either. You can see it's, it's speeding up here. Obviously it's speeding up. So there's no question that the speed of light is not exactly set. I could show that in a number of ways. I'll show you again right on this picture right here. Look at the blue one. You see the blue electron? A uh, uh, blue photon? You see how far apart it is here? You see how close it is up there? Obviously, it's either expanding, it's either getting faster or going slower, one or the other. There's their Higgs fields. That's ex 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 whoops. Can't see that can you? There's the Higgs fields coming out of the accelerator. Around it is the black ball particle, and here it is in its most magnificent display of separateness. Impact. The black muon literally walks away from the electron shower. I showed you that, and I'm going to show you again. It'll knock your socks completely off. You might as well take them off now. Boom! What happens? I can't get through there both particles at the same time. Only a white can get through. The black somehow just walks away. It has no impact value whatsoever. It doesn't emit, it doesn't absorb, it doesn't concuss. All it does is attract. And it right back here, at an exact distance, it starts sucking those white ones back in. That is the muon. And why does it wobble? Here's exactly why it wobbles. This was the muon, right there. All right? That's the electron part. Half of that is literally what we would consider an electron. Nobody's ever known the dark particle was attached to the electron. Nobody's ever known that. So what happens is, as that comes through the air, you see this one glowing? It's, it's bashing. These are the ones that bash and glow. The black ones don't do anything. They absolutely nothing whatsoever other than suck back the white ones. It's gravity. And that's what Don Lincoln was making jokes about me. Oh, they call it graviton, gravitationism, and all kinds of things. I, whatever you want to call it, call it, sir. But I call it your muon attached to an electron. And that's all that makes up the entire universe. 
everything is made of these two particles attached together and they can absolutely 100 percent no question whatsoever separate i showed that in the most extreme elegance there they are right there the black ball and there's the white shard not a single taste of black in there zero none nada they come back here how did that happen these either the black balls are just waiting around for from white ones to show up so they can jump on them I don't know I have no idea but I don't think the ones that are detached here somehow jumped over and got back here these are new ones that are coming into these white ones the white ones that are coming through are same white ones the black ones that are reattaching I think are different ones that well I, I they have to be I mean that's the way I'm looking at it so let's just go a little deeper Hints of new physics. Should we be paying attention? Absolutely. These are these, as they crush in, they glow. Push to shove means glow. I've been showing this over and over. I think they're listening now. Every once in a while, multiple times per year, a new researcher finds finding fails to line up with our theoretical expectations. Absolutely. We need an entirely new physics. All right, so let's start over again. I just want to leave you with that. The people that are in control of our science need to do some real work. The outside of our atmosphere is loaded with electrons that are scrubbing as we spin through space with the other electrons that are showering us from what they call the vacuum of space, not a vacuum, loaded with particles, scrubbing like the tires on a pavement. That's why we have global warming. It's not a carbon dioxide blanket. It's the scrub of electron to electron, push to shove. We are scrubbing through the arm of the Milky Way. Everything that's in front of us is concussing. That makes our system glow. And that's why this is happening. That's why these arms are being bent back. It's because this is spinning and all the particles in space are pushing back against these that are scrubbing against it, just like my sprays of light that I'm showing. Anytime you have push to shove, you have glow. These are glowing because they're crushing into the particles that are in front of it. It's as simple as that. And the more mass you get together, the harder it crushes forward, the more glow you get. That's why the bigger the mass, the more the glow. It's simply the scrub.